Contested and uncontested. Okay, okay. <laughs> 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 they don't have one? I guess so. Wow. <laughs>
they're going to be copied. And of the 28 houses, 11 are in the list. Mm -hmm. uh, are you talking about chop house in your? No, sir. Okay. Then uh, we. I knew that you were going to mention it. I'll lay this on the desk. Set him up, Mike. Uh, we're told that the uh, Chop House Chop House Burger is planning on a soft opening uh, Saturday, this Saturday, March the 29th. Oh. Yeah, more details to come. <laughs> Maybe, uh, we're still working on some type of uh, kind of friends and family event that we should get a presentation to, but they will be, we believe, open for business on a soft opening basis. And then uh, in about a month, we've got the uh, Arbor Days and we had our common meeting last Thursday. Now, common meeting, community meeting, they were just really excited about what they're going to be doing with Arbor Days. Yeah. And uh, they expanded what they did last year. Right there, they're on 10th or both. Or 10th. So uh, they're, they're really, really excited. That continues to uh, bear fruit for us. To bring that community together, and uh, last Thursday night was a good example. But what some of the purpose was because we had a little bit of problems with the uh, outdoor cooking uh, open pit tournament, and uh, the fire department was able to come in and talk to those community representatives who will go out and disseminate that to the rest of the community. So that's very helpful to us. Well, that's all the announcements I have. Pointed out for years, and we continue 
to give lots of books, to share you over at the library, to Kim in the city secretary's office, um, but with online features now, we've been putting online for several years, and we were just able to add a few more things to it and get it out there for everyone to look at. So this makes it even more open to the public, all of our books, clear, consistent pictures of spending, uh, user-friendly format, that was one of their biggest things. Um, you'll see a couple of different options on here that you may have not seen before, along with our budget and our CIP books and that kind of stuff. Those are actually part of those documents. It's just they wanted us to break it out and make it more noticeable, easier for folks to get to, rather than dig through the 413-page book to actually go directly to the next section. So the Leadership Circle Awards, there are four of them. Bronze, I'll start at the bottom and work my way up. Um, inspires those who are just beginning their transparency efforts. Silver encourages those who are making progress in transparency. Gold highlights those entities that are setting the bar with their transparency efforts. And then again, as Mr. McKinney pointed out, just last Thursday, they announced the first round of Platinum Awards, spotlighting entities that go above and beyond in providing this financial transparency. There were 36 entities that, um, statewide that received this, 11 were cities, community colleges, there was one, counties 10, school districts, there were 13, and one water district. And of course, the city of Eulis was one of those first to win. So if you were to go to the Texas um, Comptroller's website, Texas Transparency, you'll see the, the listing of all the cities in the state. And um, they go through and if they've been awarded, what level it is, and then a direct, you just click right on there and it takes you directly to their website. You can either type in Eulis or scroll down, such as this, and actually find Eulis on there and they go across and click on that. And so we're going to actually click on that and see what we can come up with. All right, so if you were to go to the city's website and under departments, of course, we've got the finance department. And this is, again, we're, we've changed up a few different things here. You can see different options here that you've always seen in your, in your budget mm -hmm. books. Um, but it gives you a little more detail, a little more user-friendly to be able to see the graphics right up front. Um, here on the left-hand side, you'll see all those different requirements. Um, adopted budgets, we just want to go to the, all the different budgets for the last several years. And that was part of the, um, one of those first slides I showed you was the ongoing um, spending habits of the city to make sure that we put several years of documents out there so you can see any kind of trend analysis and see where we're going. Um, some of that stuff that was said was already there. Some of the changes we had to make is I think we had to reset in three clicks. Yes. <coughs> so that, that's the detail that they got down to is didn't have one three clicks to get there. So we uh, we didn't have to hire a consultant for that account but <laughs> 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 And you have one clicks? No. <laughs> of course our CIP budgets are out there and these are you know these are several hundred page long documents so if you're always of course welcome to check these out. Our cappers, the financial statements to close at each one of the years. Um, we've got the, this is a different thing that we've got out there now is our check <coughs> register. And we'll, you'll see us update these on a monthly basis. Um, debt information is specifically pulled out now. This is just a summary page of those. I shouldn't have done that, huh? You have to back me up. <laughs> So you'll just see a summary that is in our budget document. It's just we've pulled it out. There we go. And then um, in here, this is, again, all the obligations. They wanted to see the exact drawdown schedule that we pay every year on the debt service as well as what it was originally for. It's always been in your budget document, but again, that's 413 pages long. So this gets you to those exact pages so you can take a look at uh, tax information, uh, just some of our general our sales tax information, trending over the years, hotel motel uh, taxes, short term vehicle taxes, tax rates, um, just some general information about the city for quick reference, some graphical presentations to make it a little user friendly. Um, and then you can, of course, just go to financial reporting. And this is going to be all of that, again, in the summary sheet that you can say, okay, there's the budgets, CIPs, the all the stuff that we just went through, there's also a place on here you can directly request public information, open records request, um, department contact information, elected official contact information. You'll see we've got the, um, 
I should have done that again. <laughs> um, but that's always been on our website. It's just easy access now from this particular thing. And city council meeting documents, as Mr. McKinney just pointed out, you can come down. You can check out tonight's agenda right there. Um, you can check out the last agenda, the pre-council slides, um, the actual slides for the present um, during the council meeting, as well as the council audio. And so this helps you get to a little bit more of the information um, that hopefully is a little more accessible to you. But we've always had it out there. Well, not everything was out there, but quite a bit of it was, but we've always had it available, but now it's a little easier to get to. Question. Great job. Congratulations. Thank you, John. Congratulations. Uh, your previous city in Weatherford, you all were go. We were the first effort. round of gold. First round of gold. That nice logo that's on there. Do we always get to keep that? That first. We have to apply for it every year, but as long as we do that, it'll it'll let you know that it's your <laughs> second year accomplishment. But I think that's kind of a neat thing to be. But basically, the charter membership of it. Right. <laughs> <laughs>